hello everyone welcome back so in this video we are going to look at how to implement checksum method so checksum is one of the error detection techniques so in the previous video i have explained the uh, uh, checksum method with help of an example so if you don't know how the checksum works please go to that video and check it uh, so let's see so before explaining the code i am going to execute it so comparison okay now execution right now it is asking me how many segments of data we want to send i want let's say i want to send four segments and it is asking me how many bits per segment so let's say i want to send eight bits per segment so eight into four in total i am going to send 32 bits okay so it is asking me segment one data so i am giving one zero zero one one zero zero one and second segment one one zero 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 one zero third segment zero zero one zero zero one zero zero fourth segment one zero 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 one zero zero so this is these are the four segments of data i want to send now it is saying okay it calculated the checksum value at the sender so this is the checksum okay and now uh, we are going to simulate an error in the data so that means we are going to change the data so it is asking asking me which segment you want to change let's say i want to change this one so i will give three okay so number of segments is four but they are numbered as zero one two three total four segments so the last segment is three okay it is saying the data in the segment is this okay this one okay now it is asking me which bit you want to change so let's say i want to change 0 1 2 3 this one so i am giving 3 enter so you can see here the third uh, the bit in the index number 3 has been changed from 0 to 1 okay and it has calculated the checksum of the data and it is saying the data received is corrupted so this uh, i mean the program has detected an error okay so you can see here this is not the original data so the original data is this so we have changed one bit so it is saying uh, data is corrupted okay so it has detected the error now let's examine the code so in the code we have four methods one is complement which is going to calculate the complement of the given binary number we have calculate checksum method which is going to uh, calculate the checksum for the data and another validate checksum method which is going to calculate the checksum on the receiver so this is on the sender side and this is on the receiver side okay and of course we have the main method where our execution logic is so let's see what is in the main method so first of all we are going to read the data right uh, not only that uh, until here this is this code is going to read the data so first it is asking k value number of segments then it is asking m value that is the number of bits in the each segment and then uh, it is asking to enter the data for all the k number of segments okay after reading the data we are going to calculate the checksum value on the sender side okay so you can see here first we are calculating the checksum mm, that is actually the value of sum so please see the previous video what is what what is this going to do so in the previous video i said that we are going to calculate the sum once complement sum of all the mm, segments and to the final sum value we are going to calculate the complement and that is going to be the sender checksum okay so uh, after calculating the sender checksum we are going to ask the user uh, which data they are going to change okay so that is this code uh, and then based on the position entered by the user we are going to change the value 
okay if the value is uh, the bit is 1 we are going to change it to 0 otherwise if it is 0 we are going to change it to 1 okay and then we are going to display the data that is going to be sent to the receiver okay and finally we are going to calculate the checksum on the receiver side and if the checksum is not matching with the sender checksum we are going to set data received uh, data received is corrupted and if there are no uh, changes between them we say data received has no errors okay now let's examine the complement method so this is a simple method which is going to flip each bit okay if the bit is 1 it will set to 0 otherwise if it is 0 it will set to 1 okay so this is the one's complement and then this is the checksum calculation method so you can see here uh, some people might be wondering what is this doing so if you see the data the data is in the format of string okay but we have to add them in the format of in, uh, numbers that too in the format of binary numbers so we are converting the string type into integers that two in the base 2 base 2 means binary binary number format okay so this 2 represents binary number for system right okay again we are using here for the second segment we are converting the string into binary format and then we are adding both of them so we are adding two binary numbers and the result will be a binary number which is converted into integer okay base 10 so if you see here the type of c is int okay uh, so now if you want to convert this integer into binary again we will use this method integer dot to binary string okay so this is going to convert uh, the number into binary format and then it is going to convert that binary into string okay so that is that and what is this logic doing is so uh, in the theory that is when i am explaining the checksum using the example that time i told you if there is a carry we need to add the carry bit to the previous result right so this is that logic okay so see here we are adding one so this condition is going to check whether there is any carry or not okay right and this code what we are doing here is uh, so if you see here this is this if condition is adding zeros before the number before the binary number so what is the need of you adding these zeros before the binary number is so whenever we are adding two binary numbers in java if there are any leading zeros java is going to ignore those zeros okay if there are if we are adding two binary numbers and uh, if there are any leading zeros those leading zeros are going to be ignored by java but we don't want them to be ignored so we are manually adding those zeros again in in front of the binary number okay to make it of the length m m is 8 bits okay and finally we will get the last sum and we are returning that sum right so this is the logic of calculate checksum data uh, calculate checksum method okay and finally the validate checksum this is going to calculate the checksum on the receiver side so it will take input as the data and the number of segments the number of bits in each segment and the sender checksum which is calculated on the sender side okay so it is again going to calculate the checksum using this method and then it is going to finally add the sender checksum to the sum it has computed to this okay so it will add sender checksum to sum that is this s c equal to s, uh, s plus s, s c and uh, the final final result will be stored in the final sum variable 
and uh, that is what is being stored here in the final sum is the complement of the final sum value we got that is this one okay and uh, if you have if you remember from the uh, checksum example um, in the complement if all the bits are zero we say that data is not corrupted if any one if at least one of the bits is one we say the data is corrupted so that's why we are checking if there is any one okay in the complement value uh, if there is a uh, so the index of method is going to uh, return the bit position if there is any one okay so we are returning false based on that otherwise we are going to return true so this is the logic of validate checksum method okay so this is where we are checking that right uh, the validate checksum is returning uh, false or true no so based on that we are displaying data received has no errors or data received is corrupted so this is the explanation for the implementation of checksum okay so it is of average complexity uh, but if you know the process this logic is very easy to understand so that's it for this video thank you